do you have a BA? A master's? A PhD? I have nothing. I have a certificate in web design. Um, unfortunately, after having uh, electroconvulsive therapy for 32 times, um, my uh, my knowledge of, of and skill level has uh, basically been reset. So um, bear with me as I, I relearn and, and redesign patrickhebbard.ca and uh, canedibles.ca, um, my, my two web properties. Uh, it'll take time. But I just wanted to uh, to kind of respond to a story that uh, that seems to be going around about um, uh, some of the big guys no longer uh, requiring uh, college degrees, and I think that's wonderful because you know what, my education has cost. Uh, mm, well, my last year running Cell Cycle, it cost me half a million dollars, um, uh, almost half a million dollars. We, we were on track to. Uh, to make about uh, uh, 450 the year before I had to close. Um, so, you know, we should stop discounting the value of experience. Um, my dad, 32 years uh, as an OPP officer, uh, moved up from constable at 18, which is pretty fucking young to be handed a badge and gun, uh, to uh, a staff sergeant at the headquarters. Um, reporting to uh, senior management and uh, I, I talked to him about it and asked him what his favorite uh, uh, role was uh, as an officer and he, you know, he, towards the end of his career he, uh, he was uh, executive assistant and I, I joked with him, I, I said, so you're your boss's bitch and uh, he, he didn't like that but we laughed about it. Um, he had an interesting career, he actually uh, worked on the uh, OPP uh, photo radar rollout, uh, which was a project that, uh, if you're old enough to remember, was not a, a popular project back in the uh, early 90s. Uh, it was uh, uh, actually a very profitable enforcement tool that uh, did reduce the speed on the 400 series highways, um, but the problem was its execution, as I understand. Um, now this, m my dad, has uh, uh, Ontario Police College training, but uh, no formal education. And I mean, it's it's a different time now. It seems to to get a decent uh, uh, career, uh, aside from the big guys uh, that are, are no longer requiring them. Uh, a lot of companies still don't get it and uh, are looking for those who know how to follow orders uh, and and think. Uh, confined to uh, to the boxes that are are defined by institutions uh, and uh, you know I'm, I'm not going to get into my, my my feelings and thoughts on that but uh, basically I, th I think it's interesting how things have progressed um, <clears throat> so anyways uh, he was on the photo ra uh, photo radar rollout team that uh, I understand at one point was making a million dollars a day per van uh, and these were mobile uh, photography units uh, that were spread out uh, throughout the, the 400 series highways, or Ontario's uh, sort of high-speed multi-lane highways. Um, part of the problem was uh, the, the government of the day was uh, an NDP government, and uh, I don't believe it would have made a difference if it was NDP, PC, or Liberal, but what they did was they got greedy. Um, they set the uh, enforcement limit way too low. I mean, the reality is, the speed limit says 100 kilometers per hour. If you drive 100 kilometers per hour on the 400 series highway, you're a dangerous driver because you're actually causing the flow of traffic around you to uh, to have a hard time. I mean, the flow of traffic is is somewhere above. 105, I would say, uh, if I'm not doing about 110, um, I'm obstructing traffic, and, and that can be dangerous too. Uh, talk to a traffic enforcer, and uh, yes, speed kills, but you know what? You got to go with the flow sometimes. I mean, when you have people that are working outside of the envelope, an asshole doing uh, 200 kilometers an hour, and then somebody doing 60, I mean, that causes problems. So, where photo radar failed, and where Mike Harris uh, got traction to become uh, premier was he promised to kill it. And the reason that it failed 
was uh, the government of the day decided to set the speed limit enforcement at 105 kilometers an hour. Now, culturally, we're used to driving at 110, 120 before really getting bothered. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, it's, it's people that move outside of that envelope that are the problems. So when the government set speed limits to 105, uh, overnight they made a bunch of people uh, very upset who got tickets. Uh, and, and I believe at that time you didn't actually get demerit points for, for photo radar uh, speed tickets. And, and a little known secret was that if pretty much anybody contested a photo radar ticket, they, uh, they got out of it. But uh, it would have been probably a more successful project had uh, the, the limits been set uh, more reasonably and in keeping with uh, cultural norms. So anyways, this uh, from a guy who uh, successfully executed the, the rollout project who didn't have a college degree or diploma. So to those of you who, uh, like me, don't have formal education or have uh, a half million dollar education that, uh, that costs you significantly, um, I say kudos.